I have been actively working with Game Guardian scripting for the past six years, primarily testing online games to expand my own knowledge. Currently, I have a personal script for a premium server with custom features like HT access, PHP login, registration validation, sound systems, and my own modified version of Game Guardian. I do not work with encrypted local scripts or the official Game Guardian version, as I consider my work to be valuable. With that said in today's tutorial, I am sharing a script from my personal collection, the result of years of research and hands-on work. We will dive into how to effectively use offsets in dynamic online games, where everything is constantly changing. The only constants are multiple values and a fixed offset. We will see how to replace a basic group search script with an efficient offset method that handles multiple values in seconds, quickly locating and editing the correct value. In the current scenario, we cannot rely on addresses, keywords, pointers, or even types like double or float to find values, as everything is dynamic. Some values change in real time during gameplay, rendering these methods ineffective. To automate our manual search, we begin by setting the search range to anonymous and hiding the Game Guardian interface. We use the function search number. We are searching for the value 5001 and we are looking for it as a D word or for bytes, which is specified by the number 4. The false flag tells the script not to search in fuzzy mode but for an exact match. The value 5368709122 defines the search range, which in this case is for the sign equal search type or exact match. The other parameters control where the search starts and ends, and zero means no offset. The negative one allows the search to cover the entire memory, and zero disables any filtering based on the number of results. After performing the search, we retrieve the first 50 results using the getResults function. This stores the results in the variable t. We add those results to the list of current search results, allowing further manipulation or modification in the script. We use clear results function to clear the search results from memory to prevent conflicts or confusion in further searches. In this block of code, we are checking the memory addresses that were found based on the value 5001 and verifying if they meet a specific condition. We start by setting a variable called found match to false. This will help us keep track of whether we find a match while checking the memory addresses. We use get list items to retrieve all the memory addresses that were found based on the value 5001. These addresses are stored in a list called checklist. For loop is used to loop through each item in the list. Where i is the index, and v represents the individual memory address from the list. For each address v, we calculate a new target address by applying a negative offset of minus 0 x e 0, which is a hexadecimal value. This is done because the value we are looking for is located before the current address in memory. This offset is calculated in hexadecimal to ensure we're accurately referring to the right memory locations in the system. We use get values to retrieve the value stored at the target address. We specify flags as a 4 byte value.
check value with bracket notation 1 refers to the first value in the list we got from the memory address. If the value does equal 10, we set found match to true, meaning we have found the value we were looking for in memory. In this part of the code, we are modifying the value we found at the target address and setting it to a new value. We create an empty table called modify that will store the new value we want to set in memory. We then create an entry for the first item in the modify table. We set the address of the memory we want to change to the target address that we calculated earlier. The flags are set to 4, which means we are working with a D word at this memory address. We assign the new value we want to set at this address, which in this case is 1 million. Set values is used to apply the changes and update the value at the target address. Once the value is successfully changed, we display a message with toast, telling the user that the offset has been found and the value has been set. The sleep function is used to pause for one second the script to keep the message visible. We use break to stop the loop as we've found and modified the correct value. At the end of the code, we handle the case where no match was found during our search. We check if found match is still false, meaning we did not find any matching values in memory. If no match was found, we use toast to display a message to the user. We pause the script for one second using sleep function to give the user a moment to read the message before the script continues. This ends the if statement that checks for a match. We clear the list of memory addresses we were working with using clear list. This makes sure the memory list is cleared and ready for the next operation. In Game Guardian, numbers are used instead of text based identifiers because they are more efficient and precise when working with memory regions, types, and signatures. These numerical values are part of Game Guardian's internal structure, and each number represents a specific function or memory area. Using numbers ensures that the script interacts directly and quickly with the system's memory without any ambiguity.